Hello and welcome football fans. How's it going? It's that time again where we'll bring you the latest footballing news from around the world. Right, so before we begin, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it'll help this video and our channel out greatly. So let's begin. Now the mighty Arsenal are on the lookout for a new striker, a new number nine. The current one, Gabriel Jesus, depending how you say it, some people say Jesus, we'll stick with Jesus. He's just not cutting it at the club. Well, to be honest, we all knew that Jesus wasn't going to get you 20 to 30 Premier League goals a season, right? So now it makes sense. They need to get a new hotshot striker who will get them these goals. Now picture Arsenal having a striker next season who can actually score 20 to 30 Premier League goals a season. We have a really strong feeling in our gut that Arsenal will actually win the Premier League and Pep Guardiola will finally be outdone by his apprentice, Mikel Arteta. Sounds easy, right? Well, we all know nothing is ever easy. So Arsenal's actual number one target was Benjamin Sesko from the German team, Red Bull Leipzig, RB Leipzig. However, news has just broken out that Benjamin Sesko has signed a new contract with RB Leipzig. You're wondering how, why, who, what? Basically, RP Leipzig has said, hey, stay with us one more season, have some more money, you've got Champions League football. Remember, you're only 20 years old. Stay with us for one more season, you'll get 100% game time, you'll be in the first team, and you can start learning and growing even more. Leipzig and Sesko have come to a gentleman's agreement that the season after next, he'll be able to then leave to whatever club he wishes to go to. Remember, if they pay the transfer fee. There is, however, a release clause, but that has not been disclosed yet. Just, just think of the Erling Haaland situation with Man City. That could be an interesting one. Haaland goes to Madrid. Man City go for Sesco. Haaland Mark II. So now what do Arsenal do now, you must be thinking. The number one target has just disappeared. So they thought, okay, we've got a number two target. Who do you think that was? Well, it was Victor Oshiman from Napoli. Well, we all know who Victor Oshiman is. He was banging in the goals a couple of seasons ago. Last season, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as before, but we still know he's one deadly striker. However, bad news for Arsenal. Reports are emerging from Saudi Arabia that a number of clubs are willing to play Oshiman's release clause of 120 million euros. Do we believe this? Maybe. They, they, they've got the money, the Saudis. The oil money is strong there. But these reports always take with a pinch of salt. And we always thought Arsenal would never spend over 120 million euros, which is about 115 million pounds for a striker as FFP rules in the Premier League are getting extremely tight. Now moving on to our next story, we'll lighten the mood a little bit and we'll turn our attention to the upcoming Euros and the host nation, Germany. Reports are emerging during training that two players came to blows during training. Who were the players you must be thinking? Well it was none other than Antonio Rudiger and Dortmund striker Nicholas Volkirk. During one duel, it was actually a tough duel, Fulkerg laid on the floor and shouted at his coach, just blow the whistle. Rudiger was just laughing, pointing and mocking him while he was on the floor. All the teammates had to all rush in with the coaches as they were about to come to blows. This is not an ideal start for the German team as they are favourites to win the competition. Well, there we have it. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments regarding Arsenal striker situation. Their number one and number two targets have now been disappeared, obsolete. They need to go back to the drawing board and find somebody else. And uh, let us know, whose side are you on? Rudiger's or Fulkerg's? Do you think Germany are going to win the Euros? Let us know. Thanks for watching.